Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is to accompany Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. We're going through the exercises in that book, and in this one, we're going through the appendix materials on what's called the command line crash course. Now, if you go to Zed's book, which is available for free online, or you can purchase it to download, it's learnpythonthehardway.org, and then you go to this uh, branching diagram, which gets you to the table of contents which is right here. We're going to the bottom of that to the command line crash course. And if you click on that, it's gonna take you to this page. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at number 10, exercise 10, which is copy a file. And if you click on that, it's gonna take you to right here. Again, it's a relatively short exercise, pretty straightforward. Let's take a look at how this works. First is I'm here in my terminal, which I uh, opened up by either clicking on the spotlight and typing in terminal, or you can also just press command in the space bar. It opens up spotlight as well. You can type that in. And I'm just gonna make sure I'm in my, uh, make sure I know where I am. So I'm gonna do PWD for print working directory. So I'm in my root file on the Mac that's users and then you know the username that's Bart in this case. And I'm gonna go through the steps that ZX uh, outlines here. The first one is to go to the temp folder. Now you see, this is my root folder right here. Now I'm looking in the finder in the graphical user interface. I wanna get into this one, temp. So all I gotta do is do cd temp. And I can do that because it's in the immediate folder beneath. Otherwise I'd have to specify uh, the full path. Anyhow, so now I'm there and what I'm going to do is actually, you know what? I deleted a file from the last one, so I better recreate it. I'm gonna to go to touch, I am cool.txt. And that's gonna create a file in that folder. You see now it just got created and it's an empty file. There's nothing in it. But now that that file is there, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna use CP, that's the command for copy. That's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna do I am cool dot text, and so you say you're gonna copy, then you say what you're gonna copy from, you have to write out the whole thing, and then what you're gonna copy to. We're gonna create a new new file called neat.txt. Now, I don't have to create it first. It gets created when I copy it. And you see right down here, we only have one thing right now, but if I click this, now we have two. And we have neat, and it's, you know, it's also exactly the same empty file. Uh, Zed says to run ls or list the contents of the file directory. I'm in temp right now. You see, I'm in temp. If I just do l, that pwd is for print working directory, ls, and you see I've got my two files there. It lists them in alphabetical order. I've got I am cool, the one I created before, and I've got neat.txt, the one I just copied to. We're going to uh, just repeat the process. We're going to copy it again. I'm going to go to cp. This time I'm going to copy. Um, neat.txt, and I'm going to create another file called awesome.txt. That's what he's telling us to do right here. I'm going to do that, and now you see I just got a third uh, file down here. We'll do a little quick list. Oops, that's a mistake. Let's do ls. There we go. And now the three files are listed in order. And again, they're listed in alphabetical order. Now I'm going to do one more. I'm going to go CP for copy, and I'm going to take my newest one, awesome.txt. I'm going to create a file that is a, got a little self-referential name. It is the fourth file.txt. And again, see I only have three down here right now. I'm going to hit this and ta-da, now I've got four. Now we're going to create a directory within the temp folder. So remember, Folders and directories mean the same thing. On a Mac, you call them folders, and in Unix, you call them directories. I'm going to use the make directory command. That's M-K-D-I-R for make directory. And that's this one right here. We're just going to call it something. Something. Okay. And now I've got a folder here called something, and there's nothing in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use cp that's to copy, and I'm gonna copy this one file, awesome.txt, and I'm gonna copy it into this new directory. Now I'm gonna do something. Now, interestingly, there's two different ways to do this. Uh, if I just do it like this with no slash at the end, you see it works. 
it worked. On the other hand, you may notice that Z over here used a slash. And the purpose of that is it's a way of specifying that the thing you're copying it to really is a, um, a directory. In fact, I'm going to just use the same thing. I'll just copy the neat. And I'm going to copy it into something, except this time I got the slash on it. You see, you get the same result, but it's a little more explicit. And so there's a little less potential for confusion. We're going to do the ls to list the contents. Let's see here. Yeah. Now, this is the contents of the folder temp. And I've got, and it's in alphabetical order. I've got my awesome text. I've got I am cool dot text, neat text, something, and then the fourth file dot text. See, it lists them all in alphabetical order. All right. Now let's take a look at what's in the something folder. I'm going to do ls something. Now I want to see, show you what happens here if I don't use the uh, the slash in this case. Oh, actually it worked just fine. It's later uh, when I uh, get a mistake. Anyhow, I can use the slash. See, I can do the slash right there. Same result. It just lists those two files that are in there. All right. This is the one. Um, now what I'm going to do is something else where I'm going to copy the directory along with its contents. I'm going to do cp copy, and then I'm going to use this uh, flag. That's the dash r, and um, that tells it that I'm, I'm working with directories and to copy the stuff that's in them. And what I'm going to do is I type the name of the directory that I'm using, something, and I'm going to create a new directory. In, now notice I'm in my active working directory is temp. This is where it's working right now. So I'm going to copy this one which is called something and I'll make a new directory called new place. And when I do that, please note, if we come down here, new place is now created and it's got the same two files in it. And I can uh, just do LS for list the files that are in new place. And I get the two same files there. Anyhow, it's, it's uh, really easy to do. And I'm just going to go back to my home directory and then to clear out the terminal, I'm going to use Command-K. That clears it up. And we're done with that one. Thanks.